All right, new this morning, Guilford County Schools announced some big time honors. The district announced its Principal and Teacher of the Year awards. Jonathan Brooks is the principal at Bessemer Elementary and took home the award. As for the Teacher of the Year, Jeffrey Silverthorne from Western High came out on top. Both took home an appreciated bonus and will be at the GCS reps and bigger education competitions. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. This is such a huge uh, honor. First, tell me what it feels what it means to you to to win something like this well i think it's great uh, and i'm humbled by this opportunity to win such an award i think it represents uh you know a culmination of life for me mm -hmm. where i'm just trying to give back to the community and working with the kids is a great opportunity to do that absolutely all right same i'm just excited to be able to represent our school community um uh, extra bonus for me i'm winning principal of the year and i attended bessemer elementary school wow. as a student a few years ago so it's just a humbling experience for me and an opportunity for me to show my school community that if you continue to work hard and put education first you can accomplish some big things that's absolutely right you know talking about giving back to the community kind of going to uh, detail about some of the programs or initiatives you all put in place throughout this last school year well one of the things that uh, we have done is we have partnered with a lot of local companies like Fastenal, FedEx, Precision Fabrics Group and Ralph Lauren and we've given our students opportunities to start out at 17 years old in high skill, high wage and in demand jobs. And we're doing that in the public school. What about you? At Bessemer, we've just made an effort to focus on the overall emotional well-being, overall health of our students and our staff to make sure that school is a safe place, a comfortable place and a place that first and foremost can promote learning and success. So we've increased our attendance, we've increased our overall um, participation in family and engagement and it's paid off for us. We're seeing some success academically as well. You know, students and teachers have been through so much in the last couple of years with COVID-19, remote learning, being in the classroom, outside of the classroom. What is your hope for the future as we move forward into this new school year? Well, my hope for the future is to continue to give kids access and opportunities to experience that many of us did not have the opportunity to have. So for us to be able to teach them in the classroom about supply chain mm. and then to actually be able to put them in that opportunity at 17 years old we're we're starting them out in a good start which you know holds good outcomes for their future and for me the same I, you mentioned COVID and I would just like to remember that during those times and continuing now a lot of our frontline employees our teachers have always been right there continuing to support the needs of our students and I just want to encourage everybody to remember that this November there's an opportunity for us to show our appreciation and support for frontline employees, certified and classified people uh, with a, a fraction of a, a, a cent uh, tax this fall. So my hope would be that individuals support that so that we continue to do the great work in education we've been doing. Well, you two are both a great example and role model to our young boys and girls out there. Again, I want to thank you so much for joining us this morning and congratulations. And we wish you the best of luck for thank the next competition. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Appreciate it.